hey guys welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to be talking about my experience in la so far and pretty much what it's like living here so let's get into it for those who don't know i have moved to la about a month Ago? yeah um i was going to do a video on like me at the airport and everything but it was just so much going on and then with me by myself i was i really had to pay attention because it was my first time flying alone so yeah i really had to pay attention but i do have clips from the airport and everything that i can insert so i really look a hot mess right now but we're just gonna ignore that but we got the suitcases right here purse and camera everything okay ready to go um i'm currently living off of what like three hours of sleep i didn't sleep at all today I had like three hours of sleep last night so wish me luck But my main concern about LA when I first got here, or even before I got here, my main concern was transportation because um, as far as like gas, cause I knew gas was a lot, but the transportation really is reliable. Um, at first I was taking the bus cause I didn't have my car yet. So the bus is really reliable. There's plenty of bus and bus, like bus stations and everything. They got the Metro uh, transit and stuff. So it's really, really reliable. And then, you know, Uber and Lyft, but that can get very expensive. Trust me. But now I finally have my car and gas is really a lot. So if you're coming to California, I suggest that you start off with a small car, like how I did. I'm paying at least about 60 a week for gas. It depends on how much driving you do too. But, and the car you get as well. But gas has really been a lot, but it's still cheaper than Uber, for sure. <laughs> Next thing is traffic. Yes, LA has a lot of traffic. It's known for LA traffic. Um, it really is traffic everywhere. It's around like two, three, it's when kind of, it's kind of traffic -y. and then like 5 30 5 o'clock 6 o'clock is when it's really bad so if you got somewhere to be you know go on google maps and stuff or apple maps and look at the traffic and see how long it's going to take because you definitely want to plan accordingly because traffic is a lot of time <laughs> it's really a lot of time just sitting in traffic next question is homeless there really is a lot of homeless people here and we all know that the cases really did go up due to covid sorry due to covid and there is really a lot more like there's tents all over the place well not all over the place because it depends on the area because you definitely won't catch them in like beverly hills and stuff so it really depends on the area but it really can get out of control. They're like under the bridges and in parks. It's, it's really a lot. But I did have a situation with a homeless person before. When I was actually taking the bus, um, I was waiting at the bus stop and then this homeless guy was like asking for my phone and I'm like, no. And like he kept asking and then he walked away and everything Then he came back and he was like, give me your phone. And I'm like, no. and that's why I have a self-defense keychain because you never know when it comes in handy. I didn't need it, of course, because he finally went away and I'm because I'm like, no, 
you know, you got to get defensive sometimes, but not too defensive because you don't want to make them mad. You never know what they might do. But just always be aware, be alert. Um, when you come around homeless people, don't be like super friendly and stuff because they'll see that you're friendly and then they'll try to get more out of you. So definitely, even if you're a super nice person, don't show it. So yeah. <laughs> Next one is food. There's so many food places here. It's ridiculous. I'm just like, no, I don't want to eat. <laughs> it's it's so hard to choose from. But like, there's definitely a good variety of foods. Like, I'm never gonna like name them because they really have like a lot, and you don't have to worry about being hungry because there's definitely plenty of food. And shopping. There's plenty of shopping places here. I am just like, whoa. All of these places, like, they can make me go broke. There's so many places. I'm like, jeez. And, like, they have, like, plenty of malls and everything that, where they're not even far apart from each other. So, that's good. Like, everything is not super far apart. It may take you a little long to get there if it's traffic. But it's not far another one housing it is really difficult to get a place maybe it could be just me and some other people that i've ran into but housing out here is really crazy because for apartment me and my roommate we'd be looking for apartments and like a lot of the requirements they say like two and a half or three times the rent per month plus not all places, but some places as well, also require a perfect credit score. So it can be hard when you're coming from a place where you don't make as much as LA because you know the minimum wage and not like the pay out here is a lot more than other places. So coming from a different place to LA can be a little difficult when trying to find a house out here or an apartment. So definitely be mindful of that. Just remember your budget. Remember how much you make a month. Always ask the uh, landlord how much the requirements will be because you don't want to apply. And then you don't make the requirements and they like ran your credit and everything. So definitely always check. Um, another thing is make sure it's in a good location too. I always want to make sure it's a good location. Do like a street view or something to just get a feel of the area. See if I, um, there's like homeless people around. Because I know some places, um, they actually have some really good prices for apartments and everything. Really nice apartments. And then we did a street view. And then outside, the whole street was covered with homeless people and tents and everything. So just always be mindful of the area, look for clues and stuff of a dangerous area and stuff. But moral of the story, just do your research, definitely. Another one is people. So far, the people out here is amazing, um, or at least the people I came across. Other people have different experiences, of course. But they're so down to earth, super nice, and they're like willing to go out their way to help you. And I'm really glad that I met the people who I met. And I'm really excited to see where my friendship goes with all of these people that I met. And of course, you attract the crowd that you want to attract. You know, Another thing is driving. I know I said gas, but driving as well driving in California, you definitely have to be aware because people drive different out here. So, like, you know, people. next thing you know, people is riding it on a bike past you on a motorcycle, squeezing through lanes or um, even on a bicycle coming through or skateboard or scooter and, like, right on the side really close. So just always be aware and alert. Um, even people just driving crazy like i've seen some people going the opposite lane just to go around someone i'm just like whoa but like <laughs> just always be alert be aware check your surroundings multiple times even if you checked it and it was clear check again because someone could have appeared out of nowhere trust me it happens so just always be alert and aware 
and you'll be good <laughs> and definitely be a defensive driver too so overall i really do love it out here it's been an amazing experience so far so many opportunities like as soon as i got out here i got so many like offers to do stuff and it's just really amazing and like um i met some of the most amazing people is it's really good out here and like of course everyone will have a different experience because it depends on who you are as a person and what you're looking for and the uh who you want to be around and stuff so it all determines but overall for me i am just really happy and excited to be here i do not see myself leaving um it's really really a good experience out here honestly like once again the people are amazing the the city is amazing like the view the palm trees i love it and then also side note there's so many teslas out here like i if it's not obvious i love teslas and i can't wait to get mine but anyways i hope you enjoyed the video please like comment share and subscribe and comment below any videos you like to see or if you have any additional questions go ahead and leave them in the comments below and i'll do my best to answer them or i'll make a new video of it who knows but <laughs> but yeah just let me know and let me know any other videos you guys would like to see and i'll do my best to do that as well and thank you bye